All right, what is going on, guys? It is your boy TKD123 video, and today we're going to be going over and doing the first episode of 2019 of Save Slot, the weekly new show here on PlayStation Source that keeps you up to date with the third party and first party news revolving all things PlayStation. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that intro and everything. But first off, we have a demo coming to the PS4 next month, and that is a demo that was already released on the Xbox version. Well, a different one, but the same game. It is Devil May Cry 5. So, of course, Devil May Cry 5 was definitely a big topic amongst E3, especially on the Xbox stage. They had a great presence and everything and stuff like that, and they are bringing another demo to the PS4 next month. And so they are very, very clear that it is going to be a different demo than the one that the Xbox folks got. I think back in the December they got it so it's coming out on the February 7th on you know the 7th of February and that uh, we will be able to play this demo and I will of course be getting my hands in it giving my impressions all that good stuff maybe some gameplay if I can all that good stuff so I will be definitely covering this demo but let me know what you guys think about Double Way and Cry 5 down in the comments below because I know it is a lot of people's you know very very much hyped game for 2019 and it's definitely on my radar I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it but I am looking to play this demo when it comes out next up here guys guys Okay, okay, we are talking Borderlands. Okay, not not Borderlands 3. However, the next best thing uh, there has a there has reportedly been a Borderlands game of the year edition that's been spotted on ratings list uh, for the PS4 and uh, this makes a lot of sense it makes a lot of sense for them to you know have a Borderlands remaster and then unveil Borderlands 3 or have them right by side and stuff like that and it definitely makes sense because you know if they're gonna build all this type of Borderlands 3 why not release the first one which never got released on the PS4 so you can play Borderlands 1 2 pre sequel and then 3 and be all cut up all good to go so so uh, I'm praying this is real because guys, you know me, I love Borderlands. I want Borderlands 3 so bad in my life, but if we can get the first Borderlands to hold me over, I'm fine with that. I will gladly play through the first Borderlands. I loved it so much. Love the characters in that one. Absolutely amazing game. And uh, I hope this is real, but we will have to see, you know, come time for the summertime. I'm I I'm assuming we'll have something at E3. I hope, I hope there's something at E3 with Borderlands. We'll see what they got, what uh, the folks at Gearbox got in, in, in store for us around e3 next up here the psvr has a lot of accessories including the like gun and the move ons and everything and stuff like that they have a ton of different accessories and they just added one more to their wheelhouse of different tools you can use with psvr and this one is a licensed foot controller so what uh, they say that they have support for 30 games but this article just says that you know you know it just says it right now that there's really only one game and that's bow to blood that really uses the foot pedal mechanics and stuff like that so uh, of course they will be working in I assume updating other games to be able to use this i i assume maybe it'd be nice if you have those controls and that layout scheme where you teleport from area to area um like and i think skyrim does that i think borderlands 2 does that as well i think this would be a good way to just teleport instead of having to you know type a button you can type your foot and everything so i think that could be a good component maybe something for like beat saber i don't know but uh there is a foot controller coming in if you are interested in that it's gonna be 135 dollars usd uh so you know if it's a pretty steep investment. I just hope a lot more games get to utilize it and get to use it in the future. Of course, Spider-Man PS4. I'm going to dub the Horizon Zero Dawn of 2018 for sure. People, you know, just snubbed this game in the award season and stuff like that. But nonetheless, great game. And uh, we had some comments during a stream uh, that was dedicated to Fantastic Four, you know, stuff and everything and uh this, one of the uh presenters said quote something fantastic is coming to marvel spider-man real soon so a lot of people are expecting something in the form of fantastic four inspiring ps4 people are saying it could be the you know infamous fantastic four tower i forgot what it's called my apologies but a lot of people are saying that it's either going to be the feature foundation suit that's a easy one i think it's going to be a suit uh, that's probably going to be what you know that's probably what it's going to be honestly like it's going to be just a suit like there's no way it's going to be uh you know something that you have to go on pay for i assume it's just going to be a free of charge thing that just updates in the game similar to the same raimi suit i think we're going to get another suit that has something to do with fantastic four and spider man so pretty cool to see that there expect that in a few weeks time and of course i will of course cover it here on the channel whenever it goes live assassin's creed odyssey one of my favorite games 2018 really my second favorite game of 2018 honestly it's really second or third it's really, really up there i think on my list i put it at third i think a third but dude it 
Odyssey is amazing. It's an amazing game. And they had their weekly, not weekly, their monthly update for January. And then, you know, it included new quests, all that good stuff, new mercenary tiers, a lot of good stuff for the game and everything. If you're in to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you know very well, you know, these are really cool things and stuff like that. But the one option I want to highlight here is that they put in level scaling. And so you can now manually adjust how powerful your enemies are throughout the world as you become and level up on your own character. So how it how it kind of really went in the base game was that you know a lot of times they would just jump in a crazy level so like you would get to level 20 let's say and then all of a sudden all your enemies will be 23 or 24 and you know even though that's not that much higher they are significantly more difficult to kill when they're at level 23 and you're at 20 so there's just a very very big difference between the levels and stuff like that so i really like how with this level scaling you could potentially turn it down and make it to you know maybe the highest you know ranked player you see that's the enemy is going to be 21 instead of instead of 23 you know what i'm saying like it, it like it might just be only one level above as opposed to a bunch so i think this is a great thing because a lot of people uh definitely uh you know struggled with the level scaling i did throughout my playthrough i see i did not enjoy that much the grindiness of that game at at some points not all the way through but at some point so I'm really glad that they patch this in and you know this is sort of a fix for it you know so definitely enjoy that and you know this kind of does negate and kind of just you know blow over the issue of a lot of people saying that they did this whole grinding mentality just to have people buy booster packs and although i slightly agree that was probably their intention on why they had such a grindy level scaling i mean you know that's just what i think but overall i like how they kind of fix it here and i hope uh, it's good stuff. I haven't tried it. I'm going to try it here in a few days, hopefully, and I uh, just see how it is with the new level scaling. So definitely cool to see that there for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. One of my favorite games, personally, I saw last E3 was, of course, Sekiro Shadows, uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, excuse me. And uh, that one is getting its February coverage by Game Informer. So the cover got released here. I'm sure you can see on screen. Looks pretty clean. I like it. I dig it. And I will definitely be playing this game. And I am working on a video separate from this that's going to cover all the news and tidbits that we got. Got a revolve around this game this week because there's a ton of it and of course when we come time of february there's gonna be a ton more information so of course i'll be covering that as well but really cool to see that we have uh you know some really cool artwork and everything for the game and we're gonna get a lot more information with game informer because they always do a great job at bringing a bunch of information to new games coming up in the future so we cannot wait to cover that in february make sure you look out on the channel for all of that good stuff here revolving secure shadows die twice pretty cool to see that there and while microsoft is out here buying a bunch of studios obviously you know they're kind of uh, reforming and redoing their first party lineup hopefully we have sony here that is buying a audio software type of company so they bought audio connect and these people are behind the technology of wise and you may not hear that and really know what that is but you have definitely seen their logo if you've played any game in the past like 10 years like like they have been around in the game industry for a long time they do a ton of audio work for a bunch of different games and what they're doing here is that they just bought it and uh, there were some comments here that uh john codera said about this acquisition he says quote a rich and all encompassing audio experience is increasingly critical due to the overall gameplay experience further enhanced immersion and motion for the player audio connect is a prominent provider of audio solutions for the gaming industry and we are confident that this acquisition will allow us to further grow the position platform and contribute to the broader gaming industry it's our goal to support audio connects efforts to advance its audio technology while maintaining independence and platform neutrality so really cool to see that they're like like they aren't really going to wall them off into only you know doing sony stuff and playstation stuff it looks like they're going to still allow them to go onto third party stuff but uh, i think a lot of people here are assuming that this technology will be used primarily for the psvr like i think like it's gonna be uh they're gonna have some sort of really cool headset or something like that or you know the position license headsets that they have right now maybe they're gonna update that and uh have it just work better and have just a better audio while you're in vr i think that's gonna be a really, really cool thing that they can do for psvr in specific so i think definitely it's gonna be really cool to see what they do here and the full acquisition is done on january 31st so officially on january 31st they will own this company and it'll be in sony stable and uh, we'll see what comes of it i think it'd be really cool especially Especially with PSVR ramping up and doing really, really well this year in specific, I think it's going to be really cool to see where this goes. So really cool to see that there. And with the end of 2018 wrapping up with bangers like Red Dead Redemption 2 and all the other games that came out during the second half of 2018, what, what, what was surprising to me and why I put this on here was that on the PlayStation Store, on the sales charts, the top selling game in December was PUBG, which 
uh, to me was surprising now obviously there is no PUBG physical version as far as I'm aware I don't think you can buy it on retail so that could mean that you know every single person that wanted to buy PUBG on PS4 had to buy it on the PlayStation Store so I understand that as opposed to Red Dead where it has physical copies and all the other games on the charts you know the majority of them had physical copies so that like there was kind of a split of that I understand that but it is really cool to see that PUBG you know got the highest sales in the PS Store for the month of December at least in the US I think it took second place in the UK but it was the first in the US which is crazy to me I just think that like that was just really cool to point out here and uh, I will link the full list of the uh you know top 10 sales charts for December in the in the description below but I just thought it was really cool that you know PUBG got a W here uh in you know just a landscape where a lot of people are saying that PUBG is dead Fortnite killed it da -da -da, blackout killed it whatever I, I think it's really cool that we have PUBG here still still uh, doing this thing and I, I, I do want to play a little bit more of it okay I, I had like two three sessions with it i enjoyed myself you know i'm still learning the rope so definitely feel like i should definitely jump in here pretty soon and then play a little more PUBG. but let me know what you guys see in the comments below what do you guys think about PUBG taking the top spot in december sales at least on the ps store and this week we have a ton of open betas and demos to play i'm playing resident evil 2 demo on the channel tomorrow so i'm just gonna go check back here tomorrow for that resident evil 2 gameplay that i will be debuting for the demo but we also got an announcement here this week that jump force will be having an open beta test as well come to the ps4 and so this is coming, I believe, this month. Yes, at the end of this month. Um, actually, I, I think in a week's time. And they're doing this crazy, staggered play test sessions that I hate with a passion. I'll link it all in the description. But there's going to be only like various hours that you can play. I think in three hour play sessions is when it starts and it ends. And you can only play at certain hours of the day on a given day. I hate, I hate when they do this, but it's all good. This is what they're going to do. It. So I'm going to try and fit in. I'm looking at the schedule. I think I can fit in a Saturday one and maybe a Friday. But uh, we're we're gonna see how we're gonna play it out. But uh, Friday, I get by 5 a.m., so I don't know about Friday, but uh, I will be uh, jumping into this and really trying out the Jump Force beta just because I'm interested. I know a lot of my uh, friends here on YouTube definitely are, uh, you know, hyped for Jump Force, and I want to see what the hoopla is about. So definitely going to jump into that. Let me know what you guys want to see in terms of gameplay. Do you guys want to see my reactions, a little live gameplay commentary? I'll do that. All that good stuff. Let me know what you guys want to hear and see about Jump Force. And are you going to jump into Jump Force? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And probably the biggest news of this week it is crazy i can't believe it happens but honestly when you when you look at everything it really does make sense Bungie is splitting from Activision. Yes, yes. So I'm going to read the full report and say, quote, Today we're announcing plans for Bungie to assume full publishing rights and responsibilities for the Destiny franchise going forward. Bungie will own and develop the franchise, and Activision will increase its focus on owned IP and other projects. Activision and Bungie are committed to a seamless transition for the Destiny franchise and will continue to work closely together during the transition on behalf of the community of Destiny players around the world. And Activision did the follow up with a separate tweet saying thank you guardians it's been an honor and a privilege to help bring the world of destiny to life for you and so uh this really really shook the community yesterday this was this was crazy to hear crazy to see as you go up on my twitter feed and uh honestly i think if anything this could be only for the best you know what i'm saying obviously we can look at destiny 2 and see the activision -y practices that you know we're in destiny 2 like the crazy microtransactions the absurd you know grind rates all the good stuff just the overall game kind of incentivizing you rather than uh you know grinding it out like a regular game they put a extreme Dream grind on everything and made the chances and the odds so slim to get anything that you want in Destiny 2, you know, then, or you could go and pay for it like the Activision way, what they want you to do. So I think um, overall, hopefully, you know, now that Bungie is now a single independent well, not independent, they are independent now, like they're an independent studio now. Um, I hope that, you know, they can now take destiny into what they want it to be and i hope that it will be better for the future and we'll see how that all turns out but uh this is just crazy to me because like they've been partners since 2010 and i couldn't believe it's already it, it's been since 2010 that was nine years ago like that's just insane how much time flies but uh we will have to see how this all turns out how this pans out in the future so let me know all your thoughts in the comments below what do you guys think about this i'm sure we will talk a lot about it during the cross circle podcast this week definitely going to be a discussion here but uh, i think this is crazy news here coming out and i hope it's going to be good for destiny 3 and all their you know just 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 the future of destiny i hope it's in good hands now that bungie doesn't have any influence on any other big publishing and stuff like that so we'll see how this goes probably my favorite game to be debuted at the video game awards i, I keep saying video game awards at the at the game awards this year was definitely more like 
Kombat 11, a crazy sick trailer and everything. And we have Ed Boon that showed off the official Mortal Kombat artwork. I think it looks great. I think it looks super, you know, I, I like it a lot. I actually dig it a lot. I've seen a lot of people not like it. I actually dig this artwork a lot. I think it looks super nice, super clean, unique. It really pops, you know, gets out the eye and everything. So I definitely enjoy that. And that will, of course, be going in and playing some Mortal Kombat 11 as soon as I can. I think there's a demo coming out or some sort of beta. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully. If there is, I'm going to be on it. And I'm definitely going to play Mortal Kombat 11. I cannot wait for that game to come out later on. Well, not even later on. It's like April, I think. May? Some of that March, April? Something like that. But uh, I cannot wait to play Mortal Kombat 11. Lastly here, just for you Dead or Alive 6 fans, there is the open beta test that is available, I believe, as of, the, as of this recording right now. Yes, yes. Right now, at least in my time, it is available right now. And it will run all the way through till I think Monday the same time so you have the weekend to play Dead or Alive 6 if you're interested in that it's the open beta test and as far as I'm aware there is no crazy schedule for this it's just a straight up hey start today and you can play it whatever you want up until Monday how all betas and demos should be honestly but uh, definitely if you're interested in Dead or Alive 6 go get that on the PlayStation Store it's a 7 gig file I think 7.7 .7 gigabytes in the file so definitely uh, download that if you're interested and that has been the first episode and uh, the you know just inaugural episode of 2019 of Safe Slot. If you all enjoyed, make sure to leave a like of the video as well as stay subscribed to PlayStation Source to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Make sure to also check out the description below where you can find the Instagram and Twitter follows and then also check out that Discord where you yourself can go into a Discord channel that is just spread out for safe slot where you can uh, update and uh, post in links for the week and whatever you want me to talk about I will of course talk about and I will gather stuff from the discord uh, safe slot channel so if you go check out that as well thank you for watching which is also before you leave let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below about any of these topics that we talked about today links will be in the description thank you for watching and as always greatness awaits